Joining us now on the news is Senator Mohamed Sani Musa, representing Niger East Senatorial District. Thank you for joining us on TVC News at 10. Let me begin by congratulating you on your re-election as Senator representing Niger East. Earlier today, you met with uh, other lawmakers on the platform of your party and, of course, the party leadership. Uh, how united is your party going into the 10th Assembly? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, this is uh, a great opportunity for me to uh, face Nigerians since after our successful outing in the presidential election. And I, I believe that um, with what I have seen today, there is quite a lot of uh, progress that uh, not only my party, the APC, will, will, will have, but by extension, Nigeria will benefit because the kind of um, uh, people I've seen that have been returned uh, as senators of the Federal Republic are uh, people with quality, and I believe that uh, they have quite a lot to give out to Nigeria. And I believe that Nigerians expect so much from the kind of assemblage of these reputable Nigerians. So I think... Uh, it's going to be a challenge, and I hope that the 10th Assembly will do much, much better than what we have done in the 9th Assembly. And it would indeed be a most uh, uh, diverse legislature that we would have this time because different parties are going to be represented. Talking about the leadership of the 10th uh, Senate, uh, zoning has not been discussed just yet. You're focusing on the next run of elections, but where do you think the pendulum will swing? Uh, looking at uh, the, the number of political parties that are coming in, uh, those elected from all the political platforms, I think we have close to about eight political parties that have now representation in the Senate. And I believe with the diversification of these uh, parties with different ideas, uh, the, the different manifestos coming in, everyone will be willing to push the manifesto of his party as a program. But then there's also going to be a government policy. A government of the day will have its own policy. So I believe that the debate will be robust on the floor of the Senate. And uh, with such qualitative uh, and robust debating, I believe that uh, we'll be able to achieve quite a lot. And when you're talking about uh, leadership now, at the moment, what we are consolidating, I mean, what we are so much engaged in is to be able to go back home and uh, face the election of the 18th of March. Uh, that is the gubernatorial and state house of assemblies. Once we do that and we're able to get the kind of number that will give us uh, uh, the much needed advantage for us to operate at the center, that will now add much to the ideals that uh, the APC as a party has. We have a leader that has been elected by Nigerians in the person of uh, His Excellency Asuaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu, and His Excellency the Vice President elect uh, Senator Kashim Chetima. I believe these are two qualitative individuals that will be able, and uh, the good thing about it, they were part of the uh, National Assembly too. They are products of National Assembly as well. So when you're talking about uh, zoning or no zoning at this moment, I think it, it is too quick for me to make any comment on that because uh, one thing I believe the supremacy of the party will, 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 is there and the party at the right time will make a statement of whether and what kind of leadership will go to where. So I will not uh, speculate at this moment. I believe uh, after the gubernatorial election, we'll be able to have the shape of kind of leadership that we're going to have at the National Assembly. All right, Senator Mosa, it will be your second term, actually, in the Senate. Let's get your view on, uh, you know, the latest matter uh, in the public space, and that's the issue of the cash crunch. Now the federal government has spoken, and the presidency says there was no express directive to the Attorney General and the CBN Governor to defy Supreme Court orders the CBN governor has also come out to say that the old 
Nara notes should run as legal tender alongside the newly redesigned ones. What is your take on this? Come in at this time. Uh, my take will not be different from the ideal that, uh, and the resolution we passed on the floor of the Senate when this matter was uh, brought before us by a motion brought up by one of our colleagues in the Senate. And uh, we kicked against this because the international best practice is that um, when you are introducing a new currency, you will allow the old one to, 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 to go side by side with the new one. As the old one is going in bank, uh, going back to the banking uh, flow or to going back to the bank, the treasury will take it back and then they give the new currency. This is how it happens. In, I mean, it's happening in other climes. But in our own case, it came as if it is a kind of draconian uh, regulation or, or rule that it must be 31st of December, if not, then extended by a week, then extended by 10 days. I mean, we became like a laughing stock to, to the rest of the world. You can imagine how people gather at bank, uh, banking halls or ATMs waiting to cash their own money. Nigerians have suffered so much, and I believe that APC have made a serious pronouncement over these things. And I'm happy today. I know that Mr. President is a man that believed in the rule of law, is a man that can never go against whatever the rule of law gave. He is a man that believes in judiciary. So when this judgment was given, and, and uh, there was food dragging over what should be done, the Supreme Court, the ethics of this country, made a ruling and yet a governor an employee of the federal government will refuse to act i i think it's wrong and with the statement from the presidency today i've seen that the, the the central bank governor have acted and this is what we have expected him to do long ago because we must all respect the rule i mean we must respect the affairs courts is the last hope of the common man so uh, what happened today, I think it's good for our democracy. Uh, those that went to the court and got this ruling on behalf of Nigerians, I will commend them. They have done the right thing. And I believe that Nigerians even have also shown that, yes, they believe it's not our party, it's not the APC policy. So with what has happened today, I think we have been vindicated. And I hope that uh, CBN will do the needful and reduce the suffering of Nigerians. All right. Senator representing Niger East Senatorial District, Senator Mohamed Sani Musa, thank you for joining us on TVC News at 10. Thank you very much.